this quilt was created as a donation quilt to an organization here in Bloomington, Indiana called Monroe County CASA. And CASA stands for Court Appointed Special Advocates and they advocate for children from neglected and abusive uh, home situations and the court system is very all volunteers and this quilt was created to raise money for their volunteer program. It was raffled off and actually raised over five thousand dollars for CASA to uh, go towards their volunteer programs. As an example of some of the scrap quilting that goes on, these I called cobblestones while I was making them. I was trying to create a road around a neighborhood. And each one of these cobblestones is made with one inch strips of fabric, every one of them a little bit different, but coordinated by color. This is considered scrap quilting. These homes are made out of one inch strips that's also scrap quilting. So it's a way to utilize every single inch of fabric and not waste anything, but create a neighborhood. This is the back side of what I called the neighborhood quilt. Casa called it Safe Homes, Safe Kids. That was their program. So I embroidered Safe Homes, Safe Kids in the windows of this giant replica of one of the homes from the neighborhood on the other side. And uh, this, this was a way for me to be able to put the name of the quilt and also more scrap quilting only on a bigger scale so it's just it was just a very very fun quilt to put together I'm Kathy Kessler with the Bloomington Quilters Guild every year our guild makes a raffle quilt we sell the tickets throughout the year and every June um, we pull out the raffle quilt ticket winner. Um, the bee that I'm in, we piece the quilt. One of the members of the bee, Becky Lamosny, designed the quilt. She makes other quilt designs as well. And then I quilted it. The quilting probably took eight to 10 hours, but the piecing, um, since various members of our bee would take a block, it might take them maybe an hour to do a block. And then uh, Becky Lamosny put all the pieces together, which probably took another probably about five, six hours to put it together.